bag, I can make it some assault, rub it in a sack, I can get a lot of dough, make my money grow, on track, moving fast, cause you better know, I'm a hood chick, hood chick. a rich chick. rich chick, a real chick, real chick. I stay rich, stay rich. a boss chick, boss chick. Hi, we're up in the San Gabriel Mountains, the foot of the San Gabriel Mountains in Azusa and Tewardi, in a place called Fish Canyon. Now this canyon is used to be a really great habitat for reptiles and amphibians in the 50s and 60s. About 40 years ago, a rock quarry, which you can hear them and see them, bought the entrance and they've been mining the sides of the hills. And so this canyon's been closed for 40 years and it was just opened this past Saturday. Uh, today is Thursday. So we're gonna go here and see what we can find. In the past, this was a great place to find the California newt, which is endangered. And there's a lot of garter snakes too, back 40 years ago. So we'll see if we can find some. I'm Guy Guy, adventurer and herpetologist. Vulcan Rock Quarry Company built this really cool access through their quarry to get to the trailhead. It's pretty interesting going through there, right through the middle of their operations. They also hired biologists to go through and take out non-native plants and animals. And yes, animals, they did find carp up there. Okay, so after about uh, 0.7 miles, we finally got to the trailhead, getting through the uh, quarry. We'll see what it takes, see what it looks like. It should be pretty pristine up here because it's been closed for over 40 years. I'm really excited to see if we can find some uh, California newts. Like I said, these things have pretty much disappeared everywhere in Southern California. They're a terrestrial newt. And in the springtime and summer, they go to the water in the ponds to breed. They're slow moving, so they're really easy to pick up and uh, real sensitive to environmental pollutions and all of that kind of stuff. And that's why they've uh, disappeared over the last 40 years. So it should be interesting to see if we can find some. If we find those, for sure we'll find the uh, Tomnophus, the garter snake because uh, they eat fish and tadpoles and the newts. Oh, the newts are highly toxic. They're highly venomous. They have a neurotoxin venom. And this neurotoxin venom is similar to that of the, or it's actually the same toxin that the puff fish has. So it's extremely dangerous. That's why the newt is kind of red. It tells predators, hey, leave me alone, I'm dangerous. And the interesting thing about this little newt is it has like thousands of times more toxin than it really needs. Um, I remember one newt could kill like thousands of mice. So that's kind of interesting. And the garter snake has uh, developed an immunity or a tolerance to that venom over the years. We'll see if we can find the California newt. We finally made it to the riverbed and it's bone dry. We've had severe drought here in Southern California. Severe, severe drought for about seven or eight years. Now this is June, and even though it's summertime now, this used to have water in it pretty much year round. So hopefully we can find some ponds that will have some newts and animals in it. Trail about a half mile up the canyon and uh, there is a little water running very slowly way down there. So you just have to find a spot where we can scale down the side of the cliff and mountain to get there. Yeah, this area in here reminds me of Costa Rica. It's a jungle in here. It's really pretty cool. Uh, you'll have to ex excuse my voice. I'm out of breath. I've been running, running the trails to get up here quick. But absolutely incredible. It's like in the 90s and here it feels like it's about 70. Very cool, breeze going, feels very nice. Okay, we found a little dried pool here. It's 
pretty green. So if there's anything in there, it's hiding under all that muck. That's looking a little better. Let's see if we can see anything red or any movement. Not a mosquito larvae. Need little deeper ponds. I think what we're gonna have to do is scale back up the cliff, continue up like a fairly easy spot. You wanna be careful going off the trail. You don't wanna tear up the uh, landscape and corrode the side. Okay, we're a little ways down from the falls. I was able to uh, scale down this little cliff to get to this little pool. Uh, you know, 100 yards above us, it's a deep hole right at the fall, but I couldn't get to it. And there I saw at least four garter snakes. Uh, let's see if we can see any in this little pool. This pool's pretty murky with... Oh, there's, there's the California newt right there. That's the endangered California newt. It's a kind of a dark reddish salamander. It's a terrestrial. It's a newt, so it's terrestrial comes into the water to breed in the summer. It's very rare. One time they were very common because of the habitat destruction. Extremely rare, they're protected. And these garter snakes in here are gonna eat you, dude. I uh, took a little swim to get them out of the water, but it's an amazing find, quite a rare thing to see. It's like a little water lizard. Okay, little guy, we're gonna put you back in a second here. Ah. He's a little upset, he doesn't like me. The big garter snake there, Tumnophus hamadi, way over by those rocks there. Much larger than those other ones we saw. If you can see him swimming. Okay, here we are at the waterfall, and it's all dried up, just one little puddle. And look at, there's the California newt right there. There's been a fire up here in this canyon for like uh, 60, 70 years, and it is just a thick, thick jungle. In fact, uh, 40 years ago when I was up here, we used to just come right up in the bottom of the canyon here. And that's impossible to do. So we're quite a bit up here on a trail that they built. And we're heading back. I found a couple more good ponds, but uh, it was hundreds of feet down a cliff, so I couldn't get to it. I'll need some uh, mountain climbing equipment next time. It's a beautiful area. This area has uh, poison oak everywhere. There it is there. And it's all over the trail. And uh, stay away from that, boys and girls, because that will uh, give you a pretty good itch in a matter of minutes to an hour, and sometimes it'll last two weeks. It's not pleasant. You can see it's everywhere. I can make it double bag. I can
can make it some assault, rub it, band and sack. I can get a lot of dough, make my money grow on track, moving fast. Cause you better know I'm a hood chick, hood chick. a rich chick, rich chick, a real chick, real chick, a state rich, state rich, a boss chick, boss chick, a money chick, money chick, independent chick, stand on my grind, get in my name. Flashy type chick, like to get my own dough. Prototype chick, Gucci Louie on the flow. S5 rolling on the 85.